on all of this, we can bring in France 24's James Andre, who covers a lot of French politics for us. James, what exactly is taking place today at the Elysee Palace? Well, basically, the idea is for Emmanuel Macron, who's lost his majority because he's enjoyed one for, for, for five years, so he does not have an outright majority now in Parliament, to try and negotiate with the MPs that are Macron compatible. Now, indeed, uh, you can consider that LR, the Les Républicains, are finding themselves in a very pivotal situation. They have 61 seats. They are very well placed to be the ones who make or break any laws that are presented by uh, the government uh, at uh, the parliament. But there are other players as well. For example, the Noops coalition, which is not as solid as it may seem. Mm. Let's be clear, it's a bit of a construction between the Socialist Party, which is centre-left, which indeed Macron can work with. His Prime Minister, Elisabeth Bourne, is uh, from the Socialist Party. And then uh, we have the Ecologist Party, Europe Ecologie Les Verts, there again, potentially, there could be some issues on which they could vote alongside Macron. Of course, La France Insoumise, France Unbowed, probably won't. So, probably one of the, you know, part of the game for Emmanuel Macron is probably to try and break up that Stop coalition divisions. on the left, mm. and indeed also try and broker something with the right. Now, uh, Les Républicains have already said that there would not be some blanket deal uh, that would, would cover the whole five years to come, but still, uh, they are open to negotiation, and once again, you've got to remember that all these parties, and this includes the National Rally, Marine Le Pen will be at the Elysee Palace uh, to speak to Emmanuel Macron, that has been announced. Now, uh, they need, for example, to, to convince the public that they are responsible parties, that they can be dealt with, negotiated with. This is especially important for the National Rally, uh, because indeed, it's the first time that the National Rally will have a group in Parliament with 89 seats, so they are going to be weighing in pretty heavily. From 8 to 89 seats. It's crazy how that, that's happened in the span of five years. Now, uh, we just had uh, earlier this morning the French Prime Minister who tendered her resignation, a resignation that was rejected by Emmanuel Macron. Can we expect a cabinet reshuffle to be happen to take place in, in the days to come? Now, now that that, that uh, resignation has not been accepted, maybe not straight away. This yeah. is what's quite clear now. Now, it's a tradition, by the way, that the French Prime Minister hands his resignation in after uh, a parliamentary election in France. That is standard procedure. Emmanuel Macron has refused this resignation because he says that he does not want to find himself with um, a toothless government, a government that cannot conduct you know, the country expect for, except for regular affairs in the meantime while we're waiting for a cabinet reshuffle uh, at a time when, you know, there is turbulence and there are also, and this was uh, close to someone close to Emmanuel Macron said, that there are a series of laws that need to be signed, you know, very rapidly. And these include like measures for civil servants to have a, a rise in their salaries at a time where there's inflation, uh, a new uh, package for new cars to be, you know, to help new cars getting sold, etc., etc. Uh, so, you know, the idea is to carry on going in the country. But the next big moment is going to be on the 5th of uh, July. That's just, you know, a, week, a couple of weeks' time, uh, when Elisabeth Bonn will give her uh, general policy speech. That's as well is something traditional when there is a new National Assembly. So she's going to lay out the broad lines yeah. for the next five years. And after that, well, there could be, or there probably will be, because that's been announced by... Uh, the um, France Unbowed Party, uh, there probably might be a vote of no confidence, in which case that could be the end of that government, because if indeed if this vote of no confidence is adopted, that would be the end of that government. There could be a reshuffle before also because three ministers did not make it yeah. through the election. So we know they are going to eventually slip down. That is Amélie de Montchanin for ecological transition, Brigitte Bourguignon, health minister, and Justine Bénin, who is a junior minister uh, for the maritime affairs. Now, there will be a reshuffle for sure, but the fact that this uh, resignation has been tended and not accepted means there is a few more days to come before it actually happens. So still more.